So here's my uh, trusty heat source 1600 out on the bench again. Um, unfortunately, it's not been the most reliable of uh, heaters that I've had. Um, as you can see on this one, I've had to do the uh, modification for the optical um, pressure sensor um, to fix one problem. And then when I went to operate it the other day, uh, it wouldn't light. It was coming up with fault code 2. Uh, so it's flashing the LED twice on the control panel. Uh, so I looked this up, um, looked at the, the range of possible uh, problems and started to, to troubleshoot it. Um, what I noticed was that the, the, uh, the purge cycle would start and the fan would run for about 20 seconds and then you'd hear the, the gas sol solenoid valve open. But then there was no uh, ticking of the igniter. Um, so uh, it was either some sensor preventing the igniter from firing or the actual igniter itself. So upon further investigation, I discovered that this, this connector down here, um, I think it's uh, CN4 or CON4. No, my apologies, CON2, <clears throat> right, written right on the edge of the PCB here, has four wires to it. Those four wires, there's a, there's a gray, red, black, and a blue. The gray is the trigger from the micro that gives a 1.2 kilohertz, 3.3 volt uh, square wave. Um, the red is, is permanent 12, black is 0 volt, and blue is the flame sensor. They go through the loom into uh, this side of the, the heater and the ignition module is down the bottom. Now, originally, before I took it out, because I've, I've done the repair now, the ignition module was potted in, a, in an ABS box. I mean, I've cut it apart uh, to get at it. Um, it's 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters by 15 millimeters. It's got this little metal bracket that just clips over the side and there's a single screw um, mounted down inside that holds it in place. So I took that out. Um, I took the crimps out of the, the, the crimp housing, fed them back through um, the rubber grommet here. I actually cut the rubber grommet here um, just to slide the, the wires out and that enabled me to just maneuver it out. You may have to undo the two screws uh, on the bottom edge here and of course it's all silicone together so you'll have to carefully pull it apart and get a, a, a scalpel in there, a blade, and, uh, and slice through the silicone to get it apart. Anyway, um, I took the ignition module out, um, took it out of the ABS box and uh, upon close inspection on the underside of the PCB one of the solder joints um, was, was broken. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a cheap PCB. It's just single sided. There's no plated through hole. So the joints um, are never going to be that reliable. So I resoldered the joint. I tested it on the bench by applying 12 volts uh, across the red and the black, put a 1.2 kilohertz square wave onto the uh, gray wire. And uh, sure enough, I get a, a nice spark out of it. So um, I didn't want to repot it because if it goes wrong again, um, I didn't want all the hassle of having to, to depot it. So I actually found a nice little box on, uh, on the Farnell website. I think it was about a pound. I had to do a little bit of cutting to fit the transformer in. You can see the black uh, transformer sticks out the top, um, but it's got a little cutout for the cables and uh, the board pretty much fits into the base. I had to do a little bit of trimming uh, of the PCB and cut the four screw standoffs at the bottom of the base, but uh, it does all fit. So uh, it seems to hold in place quite snugly. Um, the screw won't fit without drilling a, a, a hole in a slightly different position. Um, and it's a tight fit up underneath the, the bottom of the, the jet. Um, so hopefully there won't be much heat back here. I imagine if this survives the heat at this distance, then, then I would imagine the plastic box should be okay. But I, I'll check on that to make sure that that is okay. So, so that's the fix. Bad solder joint. I don't know how much a new one of these ignition modules costs, but judging by the cost of the uh, replacement pressure sensor, you're probably not going to get any change for about 70 or 80 pounds. Um, so if you can um, be bothered with a little bit of hassle, you can probably fix it for nothing just with a bit of solder. Um, the circuit diagram, if you are interested, is here. So the joint that had gone, I think it was the, the base on this transistor here. So it was that joint in there. Not that it makes any difference. I think a failure in any of those joints will, will give you no spark. So anyway, I hope that helps someone else and uh, you can get your heater up and running uh, quickly and cheaply. Thanks for watching.